Well, hey guys, so today I'm joined by Andrew, who is an artillery observer for the Army. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yep, g'day guys. So can you tell us, what was your inspiration for choosing a career in the Army? Uh, so I did work experience through high school, I think year nine or year 10, and we had the option to spend a week uh, with the Defence Force. Uh, this is down in South Australia. I spent a week uh, going through the different barracks and seeing a lot of the different jobs uh, that the Army Reserves at that time provided. Um, and from there, I decided that once I went full time, uh, that I would, well, once I'd finished high school, I would join the Army, but particularly the Army Reserve. Um, I did that for three years and enjoyed it so much that I enlisted full time. Awesome, cool. And then, so why did you decide to become an artil artillery observer? <laughs> <laughs> so I was in artillery reserves. Um, held a job as an artillery operator and an artillery systems operator, is what they're called now. Um, so I saw uh, those parts of artillery um, and saw the observers uh, doing their job, thought it was pretty cool and it was the best fit for me. Uh, so when I enlisted full time, I transferred to artillery observer and I've been that since. Cool. So what is it that you actually do? Can you explain to us what an artillery observer does? Yep. So uh, we're uh, members of a small team uh, in an artillery unit and we're normally attached uh, to an infantry, armoured or a cavalry call signs um, to support them on the battlefield by providing uh, joint fires and effects uh, with the use of artillery guns, uh, rockets, uh, F-18 or fast jets from the RAAF or other uh, coalition air forces um, and naval gunfire as well. Uh, so we provide all those assets um, to complete a mission or task um, we also utilise the sensors sense and optics that we have uh, to conduct surveillance of the battlefield um, for those call signs. Wow, cool job. Really cool mm. job. Yeah. So what's, back at high school, were there some school subjects that helped you prepare for the role that you've got now, looking back at it? Um, say, well, PT and sports in, in high school and outside probably helped a lot. Um, Army and our job. Um, is obviously physically demanding at times, um, but also plays PT is pretty much an everyday thing uh, for work. And then sports uh, played at unit level and higher um, a lot throughout their career. So that helps out a lot. Uh, maths wasn't my biggest strong suit in uh, high school. I probably tried to do the harder maths when I probably should have started at the state of the easier stuff. Um, but a good understanding of basic maths will help you out in as an artillery observer, um, especially when you're trying to do calculations um, under time uh, pressure. Yeah, for sure. And so in terms of what you need to to pass or, or to get into the army and as an artillery observer, is it you need to pass maths and English? Is that correct? Yeah, maths and English thanks to year 10, uh, 11. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Now, can you, can you share with us um, your training experience so far? What does that look like? Um, well, so it starts at Kapuka. Uh, for, for everyone, um, join the army. Um, so that's where you learn how to do your basic soldier things like, you know, drill, um, your customs and traditions, shooting. Um, if you can't iron or make your bed, um, they'll, you'll know exactly how to do that by the end or by that training. You march out of Kapuka and you come here to uh, School of Artillery in Pakapunyu in Victoria, uh, where you get trained as an artillery observer. Here you get taught everything you need to know um, to, to, to do the job. Um, that'll be uh, radio and communications training, using thermal um, and laser range finders for target acquisition, and then conducting uh, fire missions in our dome simulator facility. Um, go through that um, a few times before you then head out onto the range um, and conduct live fire missions uh, with the M777 howitzer guns um, that we have here at the school. Yeah, for sure. Now, what would you say you love most about your job? Um, so that's the variety that comes with being an artillery observer. Uh, as I said earlier, we work with infantry, cavalry and armoured units on exercises. Um, and we can conduct training um, in helicopters and aircraft and watercraft. Um, I get to experience uh, the best parts of army with a small group of soldiers and you gain a lot of memories from that. And you're not just a infantryman 
or a cab room and or in armoured, you get to experience those without actually being on. Yeah, awesome. Now, what would you say your coolest experience has been so far? Obviously, I've oh, been in a while, so I've got a lot of cool experiences, but specifically for Artillery Observer, there's probably the danger close practices that we um, that I've been a part of over my times as an observer. Uh, notably this year at the School of Arts Surrey, we conducted a practice with future infantry and armoured officers uh, with rounds following um, about 270 metres uh, from our position um, in a creek line we were taking cover in. I mean, you're hearing the 155 artillery rounds heading towards the target and then feeling the effects as they hit the ground and the shrapnel going over. Um, it's by far the coolest thing you can do as an artillery observer and something that I'll never forget. Um, and any artillery observer who does it uh, will think, no, remember that for the rest of their lives. Wow, yeah, I couldn't even imagine it, to be honest. That's pretty really? awesome. Yeah. Best part of the job. Yeah. <laughs> now, what advice would you give to students out there who may be considering um, their career options? What advice do you wish you had when you were in high school? Well, I probably would have gone full-time straight away when I, when I if I look back um, now, but I'm happy with the, the time I spent in the Army Reserves um, before making that full-time commitment because uh, it gave me time to grow. Um, and see outside what, the life, what life was like and then what life in the military was like. Um, so I would say if you want to do it, um, my advice would be just go for it. Um, be it reserves or full-time, um, if that's what you want to do, um, be it um, as an artillery observer or an army in general, um, just, just go and do it. Yeah, absolutely. So for those students who are listening and are interested in learning more, where should they head to? Obviously, the first point of call for a lot of people is um, defencejobs.gov.au or calling 13901, uh, which is what I did back in the day. Um, and, but with a lot of social media now, um, the Defence Australia YouTube um, has a lot of, uh, shows a lot of jobs that, are, that you can join. Um, each, there's Instagram pages for Army and Defence and all of the regiments um, that our Artillery Observer will be in have their own Facebook page. So you can you can follow them and see some of the day-to-day -day things that they may do when they when they put a post up of some of the what is normally the cool stuff we do in the job. Yeah, awesome for sure. I think um, we should link those down below so that people can follow those links better. Appreciate your time today, Andrew. It was really awesome to hear about an artillery observer. Thank you so much. Thanks, Brecker. Have a good one.